In today's video, we'll be listening to this monster for the first time. Okay, so today we're reviewing a project by Sergei Remezov, which has finally been prepared and has taken part in the finals, even breaking the Russian record in the musical class extreme deathmatch. During qualification, this car was able to show an average of 172.7 over the course of one minute, with a frequency up to 45 hertz. When it came down to a five minute battle with Rustam Kasimov, this thing was able to sustain 172.2 for five minutes straight. This is definitely the world's prettiest armored car. If this were my car, I'd remove the audio system and just drive around in this Ford. If I remember correctly, this was made in 1967. But have a look at how clean this thing is. There are a few minor things that I would fix, though. For example, I'm not a fan of these mirrors. Chrome would work much better. So what do we have here? On this side, you can see some gauges, the voltage for each section, and the total voltage. Plus, all the wiring here is very nice and neat. Unlike other armored cars, this one has been equipped with some fuses. Check them out! We have some sheathing on the casing, and on the door as well. Just as you'd expect from a demo car built for maximum sound quality. Here we have all the switch gear, plus some 11,800 series amps. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. I'm assuming 7, 8, 9, and 10 are there somewhere. Sergei Ramazov's projects are always impressed with their newly tailored components. If you can even say that in the context of car audio. You don't have anything here that's exposed, no sound deadening. This over here being the only exception. But let's not be nitpicky here. A bunch of cars created by high-end car audio studios have nothing on this armored car. Let me just repeat that. This is an armored car. Here we have some voltage readouts, just like on that side. We got the voltage here for each section, plus a few fuses. Here we have some high-quality sheathing, which looks pretty awesome. The front passenger door has been bolted down from the inside, so you can't open it up. It's locked for good. Plus you have some bulletproof glass here. The windshield is also bulletproof. As far as I can see, when I stick my finger in there, it looks to be about 4 to 5 centimeters thick. You need some seriously thick glass to withstand this kind of power output. Since this is a musical armored car, it is equipped with some frontal acoustics. Have a look at these boxed door cards. This has all been done for results. However, it is still quite beautifully executed. This car comes with six pairs of M60 Neo speakers and some T25 Neos. As for the interior, well, that's where we start to see some truly ridiculous stuff. This here is the loading console, which is something you tend to see on armored vehicles. It somewhat helps with the final result. Maximum sound pressure accumulates on the right side. So if you were to climb into that part of the cabin, let me just try squeezing myself in there. This is a bit dangerous. You should never sit in this spot, whatever you do. This is where maximum sound pressure builds up. And I'd personally never want to find myself sitting here being bombarded by a sound wave which is hitting 175 plus decibels at a frequency of 42 hertz. I wouldn't want to listen to music even at 40 or 25 hertz, since this is where you have maximum compression. Here's yet another project car we'll be reviewing today. It's called Chevrolet Avatar. It's actually a Chevrolet Dodge Ram van thing or something like that. So here we have some bonus content to go together with that armored car. This is something of an everyday musical project. The only problem is that we couldn't take it to the car wash. The starter motor happened to die, and the car is parked exactly where it was when it came off of the flatbed. What's most notable about this car is that it's packed with the most subwoofers in all of Russia. Here you have 36 15-inch speakers. Plus you have a huge tunnel, which is about 3.5 to 4 meters in length. It really strikes you as something truly ridiculous. That one over there was ridiculous, and it's pretty much the same story here. This is a show car tuned to work best with two doors open. The port layout is quite interesting. You have a round tube right in the middle, a pretty huge one at that. You've got air flowing to the right door and to the left one as well. Let's go have a look. Should we maybe have a look at the front? Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six pairs of MVL 651s. 
and some TTU-41 tweeters. As for the rear, let's have a look. To be honest, I don't know the exact configuration of this project. I already see a couple of 12 kilowatt units, and I see a 7500. Here's what we're looking at. If I understand correctly, you have two 12s feeding 24 subwoofers, and a 7500 feeding the other 12 speakers. We'll ask Sergey. In any case, this is quite an unusual solution. So this isn't the fuel tank. What's going on? What exactly are you trying to extract? Some wires? Wires, yeah. For the sound system? Yep. It'd be great if I can get them out of there. <laughs> Had to fish them out. Does the spoon work okay? <laughs> nah, man, you need a wobbler for that. Looks like you're hiding a bunch of wires. Look at Pavel here all bent over. You guys are sneaky. Nobody will ever find how to switch the system on. Are you sure this won't lead to any short circuits? Why would the wires want to do that? It's not in them. So many wires. That's how we roll. Get in there, dude. Why don't you get in there and commit suicide? Just do it, man. You'll be okay. No way I'm getting in there. Come on, this isn't the Chevy, dude. I said no. Maybe I just put a balloon in there. It ain't gonna kill you. I'll put a balloon in there first, and if it pops, I'm not doing it. They were bursting over here and you're fine. Okay, feel free to turn it on. What else can we stick in there?
What's the competition frequency here? 45? 42. 42 hertz. I don't want to be in there. I'll just have a listen in the door opening. We'll see where this goes. No, man, this is freaking me out. The deeper you get inside, the closer you feel to dying. You feel how death is creeping in on you. God damn. Not bad. My ear is all red. I'm emotionally drained. Well, not exactly drained, it's just that I'm at a loss for words when it comes to explaining what I just felt. This car will be going to competition. You should definitely ask Sergei to make some noise if you see him. This is some seriously impressive stuff. The way it looks, I mean, this project car looks pretty sick. It's as if I came over to America, and here I am greeted by this old school Ford. When it comes to music, this car is just top notch. This is the noisiest musical armored car out there, at over 172 decibels for 5 minutes, and almost 173 for a minute. That Avatar over there is a pretty neat car, but this one ain't half bad either. These cars are just perfect. As for the bass, I don't know. I actually felt genuine fear for my life in there. This car just blew me away. And my chest still hurts after that 42 hertz blast. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Subscribe to our channel and have a good one.